Hello and welcome to Belgian Diacast Restorations. My name is Johan. A rather special video this time as this is my first contribution to the Diacast and Modelers Community Challenge on Facebook. The challenge this month is to restore or refresh an armed forces vehicle. However, in the current climate I wanted to keep things fairly peaceful. And the most peaceful armed forces vehicle you can find is of course an ambulance. So my choice for the challenge went to this Ford 3 ton service ambulance. This 100 scale model was produced by Lesney between 1959 and 1964 and was number 63 in their very first Matchbox range. This model has stood the test of time pretty well. It sports the usual scuffs and scratches, but at one point its previous owner decided to paint it white. The white paint has mostly disappeared, as well as the red cross decals on the sides. So let's see if we can restore this ambulance back to its factory fresh state. This is a very simple model. No windows or interior and also no traditional rivet to keep the model together. This is a split rivet. Putting a small screwdriver under the wheel wells and the cap should make the base pop out. You should take care of her not to exert too much force. Sometimes the rivet is quite tight and you risk breaking the base. A few taps with a small nail punch against the wings of the rivet will loosen it. I grind away the axle ends to remove the wheels and axles. They're in good condition and just need a clean. The metal casting takes a butt in caustic soda to strip the paint. I always do this inside the spray boot with the fan on as the fumes are quite toxic. The caustic soda loosened the paint enough to brush it off. Notice the beige layer underneath the green. I don't know whether this was a primer for the green paint or if Lesney first painted these models in beige before deciding to redo them in green. Top and bottom are wire brushed to prepare the model for painting. For the green paint I first considered Tamiya TS61 NATO Green, but I felt that Mr. Hobby Aquis H6 Green would be closer to the original color. Although it is simply called green, it's a dark army green that fits perfectly for this truck. Mr. Hobby acrylic paints are a lot like Tamiya acrylics. I use isopropyl alcohol to thin it enough for the airbrush. Using isopropyl alcohol for thinning will however shorten the drying time of the paint. This is not a problem for small models like this. Top and bottom get primed with a coat of Alejo Grey Hobby Paint. If you watch my videos you can guess that I like this primer a lot. It gives a very smooth surface without losing any details. Top 
Then I gave the model two airbrush coats of Mr. Hobby Green. The original model was detailed with a silver bumper and headlights. I used a mod of chrome pen to pick out these details. Finally, the paint is sealed with two light coats of AK Interactive Gloss Varnish. Before reassembly, I wirebrush the axles to make them shiny again. Then I clean the wheels with a toothbrush and window cleaner. I first attach the wheels back to the base with their original axles. As I hold the axles with a set of pliers, I form a new mushroom head on the axle with my percussion drill. I have the beak of the pliers covered with masking tape to protect the paint. However, I forgot to replace the masking tape. Luckily, only the paint on the inside of the axle supports is scratched, which will be invisible. With the wheels assembled, it's just a matter of sliding the rear lip in and pressing the bottom plate over the rivet until it snaps in place. Finally, I apply the decals. The white circle with the red cross on the side of the truck measures 14 mm. A cross is about the easiest decal to make and I'd rather not spend money on things I can make myself. The cross was designed in a vector program to match the form and size of the original, then printed with a color laser printer on white laser decal paper. The decals are printed with a black circle around them as a guide to get them to the right size. Next, you need a pair of sharp scissors a very steady hand and a lot of patience to cut out the circles. If you are interested in my decals for this model, you can find the vector file in the correct size on my Buy Me A Coffee page. This 63 year old model looks factory fresh again. In hindsight, I probably should have used a matte or a satin clear coat on this model. It's something to take into account when doing another army vehicle. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and take that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video.